All right, guys, we're up this Power Freak 193 here. You want to go do... Okay, um... So, that's his Austin, Texas thing. That's, that's where it's from, I guess. This has been the most trusted online, modern online head shop since 20... Since 2004. And these, what these are, guys, is I got a small, extra large, modern... I got an extra large UV modern screw top right in the race. And I got a small UV screw top modern erase. So it came out to like $30, 30 30 30 and change. And now, hold on, because I'm going to just read you how I want people to know how much it holds before we get going. Okay, so it's pressed glass, permanent glass detail, screw top, plastic lid, airtight seal. It holds up to 1.0 ounce, 28 grams. 13.5 flow ounce, 14 millimeter, uh, height 55 inch, 14 point cm, and then width is 3.0 inch, 6.7 cm, and then we're just going to go down to the other one I got, which is the smaller one, which is, they're right in a race, so you'll see why they are. Are they glass? Well, yeah, I think it says pressed glass. Okay, so it holds one one eighth ounce, three point five grams. It holds two flow ounce, fifty millimeter, and the height is two point zero. So inch. how many grams? Five point one cm, and the width is two point zero. Same. Well, uh, how many grams in all? 3.5 grams. Okay, is that, that's, a, that's, that's pretty good, guys. And the other one holds 28 grams? Yeah, we'll just, I'll just make sure. Yep, you're right. Now look 28. up. 28.0 grams. Now look up what pressed glass is. They had one with a pot leaf on it, guys, but they said that it, it, uh, kind of got, like, you know, messed up. Pressed, pressed glass is actually is actually molded glass. Since it was made pressing molten glass into a mold, either by hand or machine. So that's pretty cool, guys. Why didn't you get the one with the pot leaf? Right. Because it it was uh, the decal came off easy. So if you want to just put this over here, was the one with the pot leaf more money? No, but I like these better. Because you can, you'll see why. Because I'll show you why they're right in the race. I believe these are by 420 signs. Yes, yes, they are by 420 signs. And I will tell you exactly how much I actually spent because I did. I know the smaller ones like 14. Well, I got a discount, so that's kind of. I used the discount code. I don't know if it'll, if it'll tell me. It just says thank you 420 signs started by by friends, best friends, Matt and Gary. In a spare bedroom that has 2004. We are not some fearless corporation. But we are not. We are. We are not some fearless corporation. But we are not the stereotypical stoners either. We're passionate about science and cannabis. And we're grateful to have fans like you. Because of you. Tw the 20 of us. Have jobs we love. And and some pretty cool perks. Like creating testing products. We personally join fully stand. Fine. In fact, if there's anything that you order that you don't completely love, please let us know. It will make you happy again. Thank you for making this all possible. And and the returns. Uh, initiate a return on any unused item within 15 days. Deliver either store credit or free return shipping or a refund of your original payment. Yeah. Method for a 575 shipping fee. That would be deducted over all refunds. Please, it says, I'm just reading this because it's important. Please do not load any herb. Or concentrates into the product until you have tested that they are working properly. For glass, it can be a simple water test. For for electronics, it looks like making sure the chamber heats properly. We cannot accept this item items that have been used, even if it was once. If you return an item that has been used, no refund will be issued, and we will not be able to return the item to you. Items that include tempered glass. Uh, so you know, Eligible for return if they have been opened or tampered, they have been broken. Root items will not be eligible for return if the holograph or 
The only thing they will do, guys, if it breaks, they said they will return it because these have a lifetime warranty. Who are we? And they're on YouTube, Instagram, and... And uh, Twitter. And it says... I'm sure they're on Facebook, too. It says, know. who are we? We are helpful. We help our customers, our co-workers, friends, and partners. We ask what is the right thing to do in this situation. We are efficient. Through consideration is given to our process. Accuracy and attention to detail are vital to our success. We are growing. We focus on sustainable growth for company for our company while fostering personal growth for our company and the drug war. You can make a difference. You can free the innocent fight fight injustice and, and, and the pro prohibit prohibit prohibitation or prohibit prohibitation of cannabis. Inform yourself about the prohibitation. Fight, prohibitation or whatever. Fight help those punished unfairly by donating to organizations, use your vote to help us make a change for the better. Learn more at drugpolicy.org. And then what I accident, what I spent on this, but I will not show you is because it's got my address. So we'll say, well, no, no. Can I, can I, like phone it? Cause I, uh, um, I mean, let me see if I can actually. Yeah, because I. Because the only reason is, I'm trying to fold it, guys, to where, well, it's it's packaged by Jordan. I'm going to actually fold it in a minute, because I figured out how to do it. In order, if your order is incorrect, damaged, or effective, let us know within 40 hours of getting the package and we'll fix it. So that means if it is broken like this in the package, they'll fix it. Contact us to initiate a return of unused items in 14 days, which, guys, that's more than enough time if you know you don't like the product. If you open it and you just look at it and say, I don't like it, packaged by Jordan. And then it says standard shipping three to five business days in transit. Yeah, because the only the only reason that I want to get this is because you said you got a discount, so I want to, does it include the discount? That's, can you get that? I'll see. Well, no, you can't. Uh, you got to... I don't want to get any of my address. Right in the race, guys. The small UV, it was 14. It came out to 749. And then... Yep, guys, then, this is everything with the discount, the subtotal shipping, the sales tax, and... It's 30 point zero four. And guys, this is for the large... This is for the small one. You'll see right here, $7.00. Oh, well, eight dollars, I'll say, and then, uh, well, seven fifty. Yeah, but you know, with tax, uh, and then I'll just say, like seventeen with tax. Yeah, because because it took off twenty three, twenty. I just want to make sure that, yeah, twenty, twenty three ninety nine. They took off, which brought the which brought the extra large UV one, mm -hmm. extra large mm -hmm. one to sixteen forty nine, and then. For the small one, fourteen ninety nine was taken off, which left it at seven point seven dollars and forty nine cents. And then um, I want to just show you something else too, guys. I used discount code Perfect Two UV. It, it took off fifteen dollars. So what was that, Mike? It came out to okay. So twenty three, they took six dollars off because it came out to seventeen. And oh well, well, yeah, well they took six dollars. And what was the other one? And then fourteen ninety nine, and then they took seven. It came down to seven forty nine. Okay, so and then we're just doing the math here to give you guys the correct. But the discounts, which I'll say, I used perfect two UV, and it gave me fifteen dollars off, which then brought the subtotal down to twenty three ninety eight. Shipping was four twenty and sales tax was dollar eighty nine or eighty six and then the total was thirty point uh zero four dollars. Okay, so fourteen they took seven dollars off. And then what's now 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 what would be just do just I would say do do twenty three do fourteen ninety nine plus twenty three ninety nine. And then that'll tell you the total. Fourteen ninety nine. 
plus twenty three ninety nine. That'll give you the to that's gonna give you the total guys before the fifteen. And now you go minus fifteen. No, no. Then you go plus twenty three ninety nine. I did thirty eight. Okay, yeah. So it, yeah, so I do remember that it was it was thirty eight, and then they and then with the fifteen it ended up. So then discounts perfect UV two UV they minus fifteen dollars, Matt. And you don't need to do that because then it brought the subtotal down to twenty three ninety eight, and then. Shipping was four dollars and twenty cents, and then they charged me a dollar eighty six sales tax, which brought I'm my. I'm not gonna total. get your address. I just wanna get this. Okay, yeah, yeah get this. What do you know? Oh, uh, turn it around. What do you mean? Uh, I'm getting this four twenty science, and then move your hand. Oh, that's the number, guys, in their email. And then you can get this real quick. I did. All right, and then it brought the total to thirty point four zero. And we'll put this down somewhere, but just put it up like this so nobody. Because I really. I mean, Boy, all group just texted and said weed rules, so. Yes. Which it does. Yeah. Anyways. Let's go. Uh, I got four 20 science stickers, which I'm definitely going to stick on my jars. So we're going to we're gonna put these back in the box. I am definitely, definitely putting these on my jars. It's cool. That's cool. And then it's a green. was this the decal that I lost? No, the decal that came on the other jar you were gonna get. No. No. Yeah. We're gonna. I'm gonna stick those right on my jar after when I open them, so I don't need them. So they come in bubble wrap, which is not always nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, these things are definitely heavy glass so we're gonna stick them back on the box after I get them open you will see why they're right in the race now there was a review that said that they came with some oh yeah holy shit this is sorry I cursed but they come with some skinny markers they they come with skinny markers for uh right in a race like uh, sh uh sharpies so you get sharpies. That's awesome. That is so cool. They're 420 science sharpies, guys. I didn't think they came with them. You know, I was like, oh, okay, that's cool, right? Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can get it. Um, guys, I really like the way they're bubble wrapped because I didn't think they were actual glass. So I guess you kind of really gotta be be careful with them. Because they are glass. Here, hold this. Yeah. Because we'll put this back in the box, but... Uh, yeah, guys. They're not zooming like I want them to. Okay. 420 Science. It's got a keychain on it, and then, which is awesome. Oh, and it's... Uh, bro, if you do zoom in up at the top, you're not going to see it because the cap is black. It says Sharpie on it. That's cool. Uh, no, I might be able to. Yeah, Sharpie, guys. You know, I'm going to put one balloon and one. But I don't know where I should put it on the side or on the back. I might put it on the back, guys. Or, or I don't know. Top's a little scratched, but I don't know. These are hard to get off, man. You can't even get these off. Yeah. Try to see if you can get it off, because... It is. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Let me show him. But I don't want you to get permanent marker on your fucking on your finger. On your. On so your yeah, finger. tip guys. I do wish uh, maybe they were one was green. That would have been cool. It's cool. It's fucking. Sorry, it's cool. Sorry, I don't mean to use that word. But it's 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 cool. It's cool. You're gonna have to we're gonna have to bleed that. Can you bleed that out? Yeah. We'll we'll put something over it. Um I'll just say it's yeah. it's cool AF because for people that know that, it's cool AF and um because I didn't think they actually came with Sharpies. 
And so it's really cool that they come with Sharpies, but I'm trying to be really, really careful. I don't know what the keychains are for. Uh, I guess so you can have them, but they're 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 right they're right in a race. Okay, this is basically now I'm gonna put this on the ground because this I would assume is the larger one. Now some people said they wish that this was a little bit bigger, but I like it. Okay, now it says it says right here. You write the strain, whatever strain you have on, and you can check the box whether you have an indica, sativa, or hybrid. So for people that don't know, but you're probably, um, you're probably everybody should know this, but there are some people out there that maybe are that really don't know this. Indigas are for bedtime. You know they help you sleep and stuff, and then sativas are the ones that keep you alert and focused and they give you more energy and then the hybrid is like a mix of the indica and sativa so it'll relax you and and keep you alert and focused too and then you can put the percentage of THC here and then the percentage of CBD now there is not I, I now you guys can correct me if I'm wrong I'm not gonna say there isn't I'm gonna say I don't believe that there is a true C, uh, THC and CBD blend. Um, now, what I have here is by TKO. My boy gave it to me. It is by Terp Nation. It's hemp flower. It's under 0 0.33 gram of, of Delta 9 THC. It's lab tested. But it is only hemp. It's only THC bun. There's not an actual strain. You mean CBD, but... Yes, CBD. There's not an actual strain, a true CBD and THC blend. They'll have it where there's a little bit of CBD in it, like the 510 carts, but that's it. Now, the only thing I will say, guys, is I bought these under the impression that they were like sort of like a plastic. But that doesn't bother me too much because I'm I'm just going to more or less not keep them on a very high place, you know. So, all right. So, we're going to open them. Okay, really, really nice inside here, guys. Now, uh, one thing that you'll notice is that they are black. They are, they are completely black because what you want... Actually, no, bro. What? Um, they're brown. No, I'm getting in the light. Stare at it in the light. What do you mean? It's you blue? see a hint of blue. Oh, this is cool. He is right. Now, what I want to say is, guys, they're black on the outside. And the only reason that they are black on the outside is because you do not want any light hitting your butt. So, that's why, you know... <coughs> That's why they're black. They don't retain any light. You can use you can use a mason jar, a clear mason jar, but you want to keep it out of the light. And then what also what you want to do is, you know, you want to throw um either a 72 or 60 gram boveda pack in here. It's it acts as a tarpoon shield and it'll keep your bun really fresh for really long. If you're a person that doesn't like your bud, like, you know, if likes your bud a little bit, like, drier, and you like that drier smoke, don't throw a Boveda pack in there. But for me, I know I'm not going to like, me and my brother are not going to like a harsher smoke, and we're not, that's just not us, so that's why we throw a Boveda pack in there, and we keep our bud fresh for months. The thing I will say about the Boveda pack is you have to check it, because what happens is it's going to, um, it'll feel in the beginning like a gel, like consistency. But then keep checking it because as soon as you check it and it's like a hard, like, like hard, like you can't squeeze it anymore. It gets all like hard and stuff like that means you need to rechange. That means you need to change out your bovander pack. And for like... 
any of my like cigar and weed smokers, as long as you know you know that like you are gonna go to your local head shop and get a Boveda pack or or if you have a fresh one ready to go when that one dies, as long as you know that you were gonna do that, then your butt then your cigars will definitely be fine and your bud will also be fine with or without one for a little while. I'm just gonna throw it in for the added protection. And like I said this Now what temperature does bud need to be at? Because I know cigars need to be at a certain temperature. Bud bud will be at whatever there's really I'm not sure I'm not sure what temperature it needs to be at. I just heard that you throw a Boveda pack. Now, now I know for cigars, what you, for like especially cigars in where we live in New Jersey, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use a 72 Boveda pack in the winter time because it's good that like, you know, because the climate is a lot drier and it's colder. So use a 72 Boveda pack in the winter time. And then in the summertime, because you're not going to want all that moisture in there, use a 62 two uh, gram Boveda pack. And mind you, these are eight gram Boveda packs, you know, so, so, um, that's what I would use for this. If you have a big humidor, then you're going to want to use a, a bigger size. I, I'm not too positive on the size of the bigger ones but they sell ones that are like this big and they they come in this like wooden holder i think you want to keep the temperature around 70 degrees i think uh, no i don't know about for weed no no i meant for cigars yeah around that 70 well like i said 72 in the winter because you want it a little warmer 62 in the winter time in the summertime because you want a little cooler. Now for my people that live in say like out in Arizona and stuff, they're always gonna use a 62 Boveda pack. You can use an eight gram like for a portable humidor, throw an eight gram in there. Like I said, but for a bigger humidor, you're gonna wanna throw um a uh it, it's it's a it's like this and it comes in a wooden holder and it snaps right on your humidor and and you're good to go. Boveda packs are for us lazy people. With with cigars, you do not have to do anything but throw a Boveda pack in there and you are good to go. It's literally like one, two, three. And for people that don't know about it, get on it. Because my uncle, Steve, he's a cigar smoker. And he had no idea about these packs. And I put them up on game about them. And it's, and it's just so easy. Now... What I am going to say to you guys is, like for the 8 grams, they'll sell them in a bunch of different, um, they'll sell them in quantities. I don't recommend buying them in quantities because I think it's a waste if you're not going to use them right away. Because they're only going to be, they're all, they're all going to stay fresh or relatively amount the same, around the same amount of time they say couple months I want to say no more than like maybe three or four months I, I I believe it's I believe it's even even less than three less than four I, I want to say it's around two to three months you know so if you say you buy like a five pack they're all gonna last the same amount of time look this up on the tablet see what temperature we needs to be at like in it and my brother wants me to look at and see what kind of Temperature it has to be at, and then um, cigars. I think it's like yeah. See what temperatures we need to be at. Like I mean, I mean a humidor. A lot of a lot they make kind of humidors, but they're expensive. Yes, they are. They're like a couple hundred dollars. Would you ever get one? Mm, I have these. I don't know if I want. Which. Uh, it's getting 30 minutes. Okay, guys, this, the, I, 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 um, approximately, the ideal temperature is 30 minutes, approximately below 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius. This strikes a necessary balance. 
to keep your cannabis moist, but not too moist, and simultaneously dry enough to hold its springy texture. Okay, so I was wrong about that, but I will make a separate video because I am gonna like, like I am gonna um, like talk to some people. I you know I have a friend and I'm gonna ask her what she thinks. But I know for cigars because I was personally told this and it makes sense. 72 like for the colder, colder states. 72 in the winter time for an 8 gram boba to pack and then 62 in the summer. And then so um see what temperature they need to be at cigars. Like I don't know. They they're like 70. You're right on that. They're they're like 70. Well look I'm I'm just curious. What temperatures do cigars need to be stored at? Let's see. Um yeah, seventy. But um and then there was there was there was one more thing that I was actually gonna look at look up but I forgot. Oh uh how long does an eight gram bovid a pack last? So I just wanna I just wanna say yeah, Boveda packs will last two to four months can depending on the condition and humor or quality. So like I said, if you are gonna buy like say five at one time and you're not gonna use them all, it's a waste because they're not indiv they're all individually gonna last the same amount of time, two to four months. It's not like one's gonna last two to four months and then you have another two to four months for the other. It's all gonna last the same amount of time. And and like I said, they they'll they'll feel like a gel material, like a like a gel pack. But then keep checking them every so often. Don't they make um? Because they will get dry. Don't they make like They'll cigar get dry crystals too? What? Don't they make cigar crystals too or something? They that? they do. They make crystals you can throw in the bottom. You know they make all this this stuff. Now now say now these humidor wipes right? Can you wipe them down with like this? I would not. Okay, uh, he's he's right. I have one thing in the fridge. They are huma. I don't even know if they're still there, to be honest with you. think they're still in the I think so. butter. They're Humacare wipes. So basically, I know we're getting off topic. It's weed and cigar talk. Basically, what you're going to want to do is, for a new humidor, you're going to want to take your humidor wipe, and you're going to want to wipe it down. And then, you're going to want to let it sit, I think, for like 24 hours before you put any any cigars. 20, 20, 20 24 to like... Uh, 48 hours before you put in you cigars can in use there. distilled water, but these make it easier Yeah, these are these are easier than buying distilled water. I got a buddy of mine that doesn't use Doesn't even use distilled water and he like swears by it He, he says I've never used distilled water. He's he, he actually takes water from tap water from his sink and uses it even though your your cigar experts that smoke like more than a cigar a day are gonna are gonna like tell you not to do that, and and your companies are gonna tell you not to do that either. But he does, and he's fun. And then I got this little guy too. Uh, kind of small. Well, I knew it was gonna be small, but this is it. And the same thing on this. It is your strain, your THC amount, your CBD amount. And how many grams? That holds 28 grams. And the then, big one. Yeah, and then... Because um, I actually... That holds 28. He is so right. And then... 4 to... Oh, science. Sorry, this is getting a little low. But... Alright, so... He had the website loaded up for me. Um... Mm, is this all they make? No, they they have a whole bunch of other things. I'll link this website down below, and I'll link and 
And you can even look up their specials. Um, it holds 3.5 grams. That's a pretty good amount. It holds like an eighth. So, which is, and it's the same type of concept. Now, can you mix your weed strains? Um, that I'm not, I want to see that. I, I, I don't know on that. I mean, I'd have to Guys, ask, uh, uh, this one's more like a blackish in the light, yeah. It's more like a brown a little bit. I think a brown a little bit on the bottom. On the bottom and that one. Yeah. Yep, so I'm going to end oh, up... Oh, no, 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 it does. It's got that bluish tinge. Look at it. Yeah, it's it's cool. This is actually like a... And, and guys, I will say the only thing is, be careful, they are glass. I was under the assumption that they're plastic, but I kind of like them, and I am... For Christmas, I am going to get, you know, from Mom two more myself. Because I want to be able to hold two different strains in here. And I want to be able to hold... Oh, and this is what it says on the bottom. Matt, I'll show you. I forgot to show you that. Nothing nothing else to see because this one says it too. Uh, 420 jars. That's what it says, 420 jars. Yeah, and I'll just get this, guys. Yeah, yeah make it easy to write Did you get the stickers? Yep. Okay, All right. guys. All right. Uh, I'm I'm gonna put the stickers on here, but you guys will not see that. I don't know if they're actually gonna fit on this here, so I'm probably just gonna stick them both on the on the uh, big we'll one. Try. Uh, I gotta say they were packaged up nice. And uh, oh yeah, they were. So show them. That's kind of how they were packaged. And 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 the website gives you 15 days. I mean, it's more enough time. I mean, I'm used to like 30. it's 14, 14 days. It's just. It's enough, I mean, but like... And then this was packaged by Jordan. I just want to say it real quick. I don't know why. I mean, they tell you who packaged it. And he then taped it up and, you know what I'm saying, and they put it with tape and bubble wrap. So it was really See, secure. I'm used to like 30 days. It's like the standard for websites. Sometimes they give you 90 days, like the NFL shop, so... I mean, yeah. if they're giving you 90 days, you have more than enough time. If yeah. they're giving you 30, you have more than enough time. I even think the 14, well, that's not a lot. But if you if you look at these jars, you take them out, and you haven't put any product in here yet, and you say, I don't like them, you have more than enough time to return them. It's not like they, they have a number where you can contact them mm -hmm. and get a return process going. Okay, so we're going to cut this because it's getting and pretty if you, long. Uh, one more thing, if you do start a return process... Like on, say, like, the 13th day, just know that you can still return it because you're not with, you're within, still within the 14 days. Yeah, but that depends because sometimes they don't get, don't ship it out to the next day. But then, but then it's still, they have to take it because you've, you've processed the return. They sent you a label. But anyways, guys, this is Power Freak 1993 signing out. And don't forget to comment, ring, like, subscribe on all the videos you're hearing today. And... Hit the bell. It'll notify you when we upload vids. But if it doesn't notify you, just unsub and resub. And if that doesn't work, then I don't know. I send my boy Yellow Groove the links. And um, I just want to say that we are going to bring you more of these kinds of videos. Because I want my channel to be different. And I'm sorry if people really don't like this kind of content. You know, I know, I know Benny Cruz is only here for the fireworks. I got you, Benny Cruz. I'm going to do a uh, fountain review for Halloween. So, you know, if you are just here for the fireworks, I'm never going to stop doing fireworks. May not be a lot of aerials, more ground items, but I'm never going to stop, and I'm going to bring you content like this. And yeah. I'm absolutely in love with this package from Poor 20 Science, so I'll say that. Um, this looks like a jar that you would find, like, my brother's skincare in. Uh, yeah, so it, it actually does. <laughs> so, peace out, guys. And I got a green and blue sticker. Peace. Yeah, we just want our channel to be a mix of different things. Yep. Because we film vacation videos, firework videos, vlogs, etc., etc. This, uh, you know, we're getting into the kind of community. And we're just saying that we don't support the... Oh, uh, yeah, another thing is we don't support, like, the illegal sale... And use of these products. This is only for educational purposes only. Forgot to say that at the end of the video. And so can we say we support the legal?
Yeah, like and, and we do and we do like like for New Jersey, we support the legalization of of I'll say cannabis. Yep. And and then that's and we're a big believer in it. It helps out. My brother talked to a doctor in Chick fil A and he said that it helps out with seizures. And I've seen a guy that had really bad Parkinson's and he took a little weed oil on his like under his tongue or on his tongue from a tinjica and it really helped him out, like, just to function through the day and not go, like, I don't want to go, like, you know, like, that he's going and shaking and, you know, like, twitching all over the place. So it really helped him out and peace out. It don't, and one more thing, guys, it only helps out people <laughs> with Parkinson's that, like, twitch real bad. Because my gramps cousin had Parkinson's and he really didn't, like, twitch that bad. Oh, so. yeah, he wasn't really, like, a, a shaker. He just kind of forgot, you know, he kind of forgot a little bit, but he wasn't like this guy. Where he couldn't even walk around and enjoy whatever he was doing. Alright guys, peace. What's our peace? What's yep, that? that's it.